Hello gamers, this is Drist playing Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. And before I get started, a friendly reminder, don't forget to subscribe. There is a subscribe button in the bottom uh, right of the screen. And uh, click on that and give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, comment in the comments section. So today, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to see if I can tackle some sieges, or at least a siege, just show you how I do them. And these are the forest siege, and I've been doing these for a bit now. Solo, mind you, so this is a solo siege attempt. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing bone armor here, and so that's light armor. And my focus is avoid. Now, my normally it's kind of low, 16%, but when I hit my buffs, it gets up to 44% or 40% avoid. So that's, eh, it could be better, but for me, it works. So I'm going to show you how I do it with my meager skills. Um, some other things that make this doable for me has to do with my grandmasters. I focus on archery. So my ranged combat is GM'd. My rapid fire is uh, GM'd. And my draw strength is GM'd. And my, uh, Aim shot is GM. So those are my main archery uh, skills. So that really helps me get these done. So the first step when we come in here, <coughs> excuse me, is we want to buff up. So I have a buff deck here. And I'm actually going to do another video probably after this one on how I create this buff deck here. But uh, <coughs> so we're going to hit the buff deck, equip it, and then we're going to get her going. So we're going to stack these up four or five times. And then uh, once I have four or five stacks of these gone, we'll go ahead and uh, pop it. And then once that's done, we will get it on the road, this show, that is. So that's three. I think that's three of those. That's three of those. So there's the fourth one. Damn it, almost lost that one. Alright, that's, so that's fine. That's uh, enough. So I stacked them three, four, or whatever, five times, and I'll show you which ones I have here. And then uh, once that uh, buffs are on, we're going to switch back to my other deck, which I'll show you real quick. <coughs> Let's uh, modify these. So here's my basically combat deck. And as you can see, these first three are my main combat attack skills. Rapid fire I'm using, and aim shot. So these are unlocked. So these are, I have five of these on in here. So whenever they pop up, I stack them and fire them off the wheel. So this is one of my defensive skills. Dodge, it adds a, it's a dodge modifier. And then that's unlocked as well. And then this one's locked. It uh, adds of damage avoidance. Uh, evasion adds damage avoidance and uh, shield of ice. These are all three, uh, these are locked and they add shield uh, damage avoidance. And then of course this is an area uh, area over time type of uh, skill so this is locked as well and I pop this one when I pop all three of these and then this is just my healing ray which I have this locked as well and um, that's just my more of a more of a filler heal if you will and of course I have this capsule which is the cap booster of soda if you're you player out there you know what a cap boosters are and this is my uh, when I'm running low on focus I hit this and it gives me it takes away from my life to give me focus so that's basically my deck here. So let's see if I get this on the road before these uh, buffs start to wear off. Um, <clears throat> I keep this uh, window open because I want to see where this avoid is at. So when I, my buffs wear off and that drops back down to 16, I know to hit those buffs and get them applied again. So I keep that open there. So strength of earth uh, gives me 40 minutes uh, plus 16.6 .6 strength. And then... Um, Let's see, where's the other one? So Enlightenment gives me uh, Intelligence for 30 minutes. And Airs Embrace gives me Dexterity for 38 minutes. So those are the ones I popped. And then this uh, this other one here is going to wear off here shortly. The um, Shield of Crystal, it's adding 92 health. But it's going to wear off here in a minute. So that's not really a big one. Alright, so without further ado, uh, we're going to hit this turret up here on the left first. This catapult on the left. I find this one's the easiest to take down. And then we'll go from there. So, we'll pull out my elemental. I have the water elemental here, and I got her up to 92 degrees, or not level 92. So, she's moderately effective. And let's pop some light here. And let's get this started. <clears throat> and I like to come up this back way here. And we kind of scope out the terrain. Looks like I have a wizard there and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up here. 
and that wizard's already got me targeted, which is fine. So we're gonna hit my shit, focus on that wizard, and see if I can take take that wizard out first. And I have the high ground, so it's kind of beneficial for me. And two wizards is kind of rough. So there we go. We took them both down there. So now, so I, I'm auto targeting that guy, but he's too. He's not gonna. I'm not gonna hit him right now. Basically, I'm on top of here, so he's dodging all the shit. So I'm gonna wait for my. Uh, oh shit! That's what I forgot. Oops, I squared, sorry. Um, forgot to eat my food. That's not it. Boy, I'm off to a great start here, ain't I? Eat my dragon stew, I use dragon stew. <clears throat> and obsidian bear stew are the foods I use. And of course I have my, uh, uh, my, uh, what are those, th those things you can pick up in the, uh, oh boy, I just can't think today. Anyways, here we are. So now we're going to get down here and I want to pull one of these guys over to me here. So we're going to target that one. Actually, we're going to target that one. Excellent. He's coming to me. I like him to come to me. So I'm going to pop my buffs again. And then stack those and hit them up. I could run, but at this, uh, I can I basically go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy and he won't do much damage to me, so. <clears throat> and we have it auto-targeted, tar auto -auto so wait for those to come up. There we go. So he's dead. We loot him. Love the wood that we get. So next, I'm going to loot this wizard here. Target that guy. And we've already gone after him. And we're just going to stay here. This doesn't always work. you got to remain flexible. But usually if I stay by this tree, they can kind of come to me. And unless a wizard spawns or a marksman spawns, I can kind of stay here and let them come to me. So he's dead. Leave him again. <coughs> And of course, they you've watched my little uh, um, character stat just window there. Um, keep those uh, void up. Oh, we got a wizard there. So we're going to run around this tree here, which will cause these guys to de-aggro, but that's fine. That's what I want. My pet will probably die there, but pets, uh, like I said, I can call him back. <coughs> So with that wizard there, I'm going to make him my priority now. So there we go. Perfect. If you can get them to come to you. That's perfect. And now I'm going to actually come out here. Because I want to take him down. If, as an archer, if I can stay mobile here. There we go. He's dead. So now I'm going to come back here. Shake this guy off for a moment. Let my health recharge there. <clears throat> and then... All right, we're gonna come out here and let's get this show on the road. Pull that uh, elemental out again. Oh, got a marksman there. Marksman archers are priority.
There we go. Take uh, this guy, make sure I'm targeting the right guy here. Get my bus back up. Now I could move a little here if I wanted to and uh, so these guys can't hit me, but uh, these siege engineers are actually not horrible. But if you need to move, move. And I think, nope, there's still another one. There he is. <coughs> Get those buffs back up. I got another engineer over there. As you can see, my health is, uh, or my focus is going down, so. <clears throat> As you can see, these, uh, engineers are not, at least for me, they're not incredibly dangerous. It's the, uh, marksmen and the wizards that really ripped me a new one, and those commanders. <clears throat> All right, as you can see, this uh, catapult is down. The flag is no longer there, so we have one of three done. So let's go loot this guy here. Leave no corpse unlooted. Loot it all. Piece of cake. That's why I come. I do this one first because it's relatively easy, and just in case a group comes in here and wants to try to take this away from me, at least I've gotten something out of it—some wood or whatever. So, uh, and then now I come down here. We're going to go to the second one now. <clears throat> We're going to approach the second one a little bit differently. I come up here. We're going to approach it from the back way here. <clears throat> so right here. That it's actually on the other side of here, and uh, where's my elemental? Is you here yet? Come on, buddy. Let's uh, call him to me. Actually, I could have teleported him to me. I'm gonna hit my buffs. No, they're fine. They're still up. Yeah, another 30 minutes. Good. So, I like to pull them up to me, up here. So... Actually, are there any, uh, actually, there's, there's one right there. Yeah, I like to pull them up to me. Oh, there's a wizard. If you're wondering why I'm, where, uh, how I'm hitting my keys here, I'm keybinding all this stuff. It makes it much, much faster. Using a gamepad. And there's that wizard. There he is. I'm being hit by this archer right here, which is, um, and if that starts to happen, we can always de aggro here, but I don't feel the need to aggro. Actually, this guy, I spawned him back, but that's fine. We'll finish taking him out. There's that Tapsole, because I ran out of focus there. But that Tapsole gave me some back. So, excellent. Good to go. Loot all these guys. And just let my stuff... Uh, and as you can see, my pet dies. Um, he's going to do that. I'll just call him back. The good thing about having him die and having to call him back is every time you uh, call him to you, he... Uh, he raises his experience a little bit and he levels up if you're constantly training him, which I am So that's how I got him up to 92. So now that my health and everything is full I'm gonna go down here and approach this a little differently now. So I'm gonna hit this stuff first 
I don't think there's any archers down here. There might be. There's one, actually. Take out that green one there. Somebody hit me with a slow mo thing. Keep our buffs up here. You can just run around these tents here. that and I just have him so let's uh my shit's uh oh, I swore again oops I can come out of combat and let my focus re uh, up a little bit here It makes it harder when you come down here if there's archers or wizards, so you want to take them out first, but, uh... Yep, I got a wizard on me. And I got a... Great. There we go, he's dead. Now we got this archer here. Excellent. I'm going to do something here. Call that elemental back. See if I can get that without him dying. Oops. That was dumb. Hit Tapsel and I am low in health there. Actually, I'm low on focus too. So we want to put my weapon away and run around and recharge. And this water element actually heals too, so. Alright, we're good. Let's uh, get her up. Get her done. gonna say I like my loot all right he is dead let's see if I can hide behind this tent so the flag's still up so I have another one right there that's fine I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna stay right here Right. 
And as you can see, that flag is this one's done. So that's two. Two of three is done. When the flag goes down, it's done. So, all right. We're two thirds of the way there. And I always like to go back up. Oop, just got an under fire. That's fine. I like to go back up here. I'm going to ignore him because I don't need him. I completed the objective. That uh, catapults down. And now I like to run right here to the third one. <clears throat> oh, somebody got serving my need to 110. Sweet. I'm gonna, I don't think he's my friend. Oh, he is. Okay, good. I haven't yet pushed anything beyond 100 because uh, Grandmasters are like my uh, first objective and I want to get everything I want to Grandmaster to Grandmaster first before I push anything beyond. So from up here, so there it is over there to our left. And we're going to come down here and take out whatever happens to be... Uh, so like this guy here, he's green. He's going to drop like a fly. And we won't loot him right now. So, I'm going to call my elemental back to me. Come on, elemental. What do we have up here? There we go. Take the marksman out. I like to clear them out first, if at all possible. I like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, too. I'll outfire them every time. And of course, stack your uh, cards, if that's how you uh, do it. I, it's uh, more effective if you stack your cards. There we go. Is he on defensive or offense? He's defensive. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm going to see if there's any else up here. Anything else up here as far as uh, I don't see any. Excellent. Actually, I think I do see one. So, we're going to come back down here. There is that wizard. Alright, he's dead. Pop our little uh, avoidance things. Take out the siege engineer. Always loot the siege engineer, so that's where the good stuff is at. And of course, come out of combat just to uh, let my focus re uh, recharge. And of course, loot this guy. For the archers out there, this is actually a good spot. If you have the high ground over people, you take less damage and you do more damage. So this is a little high spot. I, I learned of this high spot from the NPCs watching them run up here. It didn't do them any good, but hey, it taught me something. So let's see if there's anything else up here. There's not, except for him. So, of course, we pop those. And I think I'm going to run in circles just because I don't want to take damage if I don't have to. It's called Kiteen. Of course, loot this guy. I think there's always two siege engineers, and when you kill one, the other one comes and spawns like there. Of course, my uh, avoidance drop below. Uh, my 40 max is a 40 for me right now but that's clearly kind of low i've seen uh, videos where their avoidance were upwards in the 40s or 60s i'm sorry so i still have some work to do there
And there's three I can stack. And we're starting to run out of... Uh, And if you stack them too, they uh, take less focus too. So, I don't know how many siege engineers it is. I haven't counted them. Oh, there's a marksman. I think I'm gonna fall back. My focus is low and my health is low. Don't be afraid to fall back if you need to. These things aren't exactly easy. Gotta take that guy out. And stupid wizards. Alright. Going back in. Focus on uh, our march marksmen and uh, wizards first, because they do say, a lot of damage and you can't avoid it really. So they're high priority targets. I think he's the last one because there's no second one spawning. So. He is. Yes, he is. So, see, the flag went down. So, lead him. Now, we're going to get a Lich or we're going to get a Cabalist. And I like to come up here to the mercenary side because they can be a little extra DPS when I'm fighting whatever it is I'm going to fight. And I like to wait for whatever it is to come to me. And I haven't mastered all of these Cabalists yet. So, depending on which one I get. The Lich is easy. We'll see. We're going to sit here and let everything kind of collect our thoughts. Don't know what's coming for us. Oh, there he is. So, what do we got here? Oh, Dolus. I don't think I've fought him before. Did he, uh, he did. Okay. He yo-yoed back, that bastard. That's okay. Where's he at? Come back to me. There he is. Nope. Where is he at? Did I scare him off? Oh, there he is. We want him to come to us. Come to us, bastard.
Boy, he had some range on that uh, wizard there. Okay, there he is. Maybe I ought to go down here and we want him to come to us. Maybe he's trapped behind here. He is trapped behind there. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There you go. Mother blinker. Come on. Come back this way. Could take us a while to be him. Or not. He's going down. Looks like he's about halfway there. I have potions here too, so I have focus potions and I have health potions. I don't seem to be needing the health potions, but I definitely need those uh, focus potions, so. not a quick fight that's for sure but with the archer you just keep your range you're basically kiting the tag kiting them I don't know how much damage those other people are doing since uh nope don't let don't let them get a uh,
I didn't come out with a lot of potions. Honestly, I wasn't fully prepared. I don't use a lot of potions. And I got to thinking that well, I was going to do this video, maybe I should bring some. I'm kind of glad I did. Look how my... Get, go, go, go. Oh, no! 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 You gotta watch that. All your hard work will be down the drain. Almost there. Getting there. Almost there. Almost got this guy. And he is. And he's dead. Woo! We got our lich. So the siege has been lifted. Woo! And let's see. Fingers crossed. Do we get anything from him? That was the dullest guy, by the way. Let's see if we get anything from him. And we got nothing. Absolutely bupkis. This seems to be my the story of my life when it comes to sie sieges. Um, not, don't really get a lot from them. I, yeah, I have a Cabolas outfit and stuff. I bought it from other players that seem to have great level, luck when it comes to these things. But I have yet to get anything. But there you go. That was a siege. And I don't know how long it took me to complete this. I'll find out once this video is done. But basically, um, light armor. I use bows and I'm grandmaster on the key uh, skills. And then I just do a lot of kiting. And uh, anyways, so... Uh, this was Driss playing Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. Don't forget to subscribe. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right 
left of the screen and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this thumbs down if you don't comment in the comment section I will be greatly appreciative if you had any ideas or things you would like to see just uh, comment on those as well so until next time have a great day